A common question I've been getting is about campaign budget optimization. So let's just create an ad and I'll show you how I use it. So head over to your ads manager, click that create button. Then we're going to create a traffic campaign. And we scroll down. You can name your campaign for easy identification in your ads manager later. So next, under campaign budget optimization, make sure this is on. And then we'll set this, at least have it $1 per ad set. So that's the minimum you need for this campaign budget optimization to work. So campaign budget optimization, or CBO, will split the budget across all your ad sets. So I'll show you how to create one campaign and then duplicate that ad set under this main campaign so you can create a split test of varying audiences. I like to test a minimum of 10 audiences so I can identify without a doubt what audience is resonating with my ad, with my offer, with my product. We can all make assumptions and say XYZ interest is for sure my customer, but until you test it, you'll never know. So by setting my budget at 10, that means I'm going to have 10 $1 ad set tests. Next, keep this default, lowest cost, click continue. So who do I want to target? Remember, when creating split tests, only test one variable at a time. So I know my target market always falls in these countries. Okay, so I have these four. This will be my set countries for every one of my ad sets. So right now I'm at 320 million people for potential reach. So let's window that down. I do want these all to be broad audiences, so over a million, but try to keep it under that 10 million. That's where I see the best results for broad audience targeting, from 1 to 10 million. So now let me show you a list of all my favorite custom audiences to split test. So I'll target a lookalike of my top 25% visitors. These are my top 25% visitors to my website. They spend the most time on my website. So I created a lookalike of this in my custom audiences. The next is a lookalike of Facebook post engagement. Then a lookalike of my sales landing page. Then a lookalike of my buyers. A lookalike of 75% video views. This is from past videos I've posted in ads. So I've created a lookalike of them. Then I'll also target all website visitors. So this is a nice warm audience. They already know my brand. They've been to my site for something. And then I'll also target engaged shoppers. This is actually going to fall under interest, not custom audience. This is a behavior under the interest targeting. And here are three other common ones for my specific niche. I'm selling marketing courses. I want to target people interested in influencer marketing, online advertising, lead generation. And for all these ads I create, I want to make sure to exclude past buyers. I don't want to target an ad at somebody who's already made a purchase. That's wasted ad spend. So make sure to check out our custom audiences lecture to learn how to create all these varying custom audiences and then a lookalike of these audiences. So let's finish creating this ad. Let's just use this first one here. So I want to exclude all past purchases or buyers. So past purchases. Okay. Scroll down. We're going to leave this targeting wide open for this initial test and then we can identify via breakdown in our ads manager what was the best performing country what was the best performing age so gender all languages I'm going to target english since that's what it is so i will uncheck this i don't want facebook to expand my detailed targeting i am selecting these people to find out if they are my potential target market so let's add that first one, engage shoppers. This is a behavior. This is people who have clicked the call to action button of shop now on Facebook in the past week. These are people who make purchases online. So this is a great one to target first. No connection type, that's fine. Automatic placements, great. Continue. So our Facebook page, make sure to select your Instagram page that you've already linked with your Facebook page. Now onto our ad. We're not creating an ad for this one. 
I've already created a post engagement ad and built up that social proof for a post. So I'm going to use that past post that has likes, has comments. When people are scrolling in their feed and they see 10,000 likes, 10,000 smileys, 10,000 hearts, they're more likely to stop and say, whoa, there's some social proof. There's some clout in this post. Let's see what this is all about. So I'll use that existing post. Just click the select post. And then I know this is the one from my page. Okay, continue. There we go. So obviously not 10,000, but there is some clout here. As people scroll, yes, the ad copy should grab their attention. Yes, the image should grab their attention, but the social proof will as well. This is a great side note here about ad copy, ad images. Again, you want to split test a lot to see what works with your audience, but try using a photo of your cat or your kid or yourself. Something that looks organic in their news feed, they're more likely to notice. You know when you're scrolling through your feed and you see an ad. It's bright, it's gaudy, it's trying to grab my attention. This is a great way to sneak into somebody's feed and build that personal relationship. So that's just a tip for you. Definitely test that in your own ad images. So scroll down, we have that selected, and I won't add a call to action button because it is a past Facebook post. Plus, as you'll see, there's a link in this. So scroll down, we're good, confirm. So now, like I said, this is a CBO. It's a campaign budget optimization. It's for $10. You need at minimum $1 per ad set. So let's click edit on that one. Edit. And then here is our ad set. So campaign, ad set, ad. Like I said, we want 10 of these ad sets. We want to test a different audience of 10 audiences. That is my average split test at the ad set level for these top of funnel ads. So I'll minimize this right here. See the duplicate? So click that. And now keep it under the original campaign and number of copies of each ad set. There's already one. So how many more do we need to get to 10? Nine, nine copies. So duplicate. So there we go. We have 10 total ad sets with a copy of that ad under each one. So remember, split testing, only test one variable at a time so you can identify what tweak, what adjustment is equaling the results you want. So now go to each ad set and adjust it to your audience of choice. So this one was our first one. We excluded our past purchases and we targeted engaged shoppers. So to make it easy to identify here, let's copy that targeting paste it in the ad set. As you can see, it'll change over here. Okay, so now I need to change every one of these ad sets so it is a split test at the audience level. So let's go through my list. Look like visitor top 25%, so that's gonna be a custom audience. Let's come down here. I'm gonna X out that original copy and then come into include custom audience. Look like Here's a lookalike of my video view, 75%. So there's my first one. I'm gonna copy that, paste it in my ad set name. Okay, we're looking good. We have the lookalike targeted, excluding purchasers, and then I removed that interest. Let's go to our next copy. Facebook post engagement lookalike. Okay, so again, let's remove that. Visitor top 25%. I know that's one of them. Let's just keep doing this to knock them out. Okay, next one. Remove that. Come up. Facebook post look alike. So anybody who engaged with the Facebook post. Like. Okay, look alike, we remove the interest. Next one, 
We're going to do all website visitors. I know that's one. All visitors. Let's remove that interest again. Okay, we're running through them here. A few more to go. So I've done top 25. I've, I've done lookalike of posts. I've done lookalike of video views. I've done all website visitors. I need to do the lookalike of the landing page and the buyers yet. Lookalike. Sales landing page lookalike. And that looks good. Lookalike buyers. Okay, make sure to remove the interest. I want to make sure I remove the interest on that last one. Okay, good. Keep going through here. So we have all our lookalikes, all our current audiences, such as visitors. We have our buyer lookalike. Okay. We've done our engaged shopper. Now let's do some single interest targeting. So this first one, influencer marketing. Okay, we're good. Remove that copy. Paste in influencer marketing. There we go. Copy that. Great. Online advertising. Remove. Okay. And this last one, lead gen. Oop, last one here. Close. Okay, so as you can see, we can just take a quick look through all these lead gen, excluding buyers, excluding buyers, online advertising, influencer marketing, exclude buyers, lookalike of paying students, these are past buyers, and excluding those who have purchased. And then we eliminated the targeting. Lookalike, eliminate targeting, but we are targeting a lookalike of the sales landing page. And then we are targeting all visitors, but excluding purchasers. Okay, look like nothing here, but a look like of anybody who engaged with a Facebook post. Look like of our top 25% visitors to courseenvy.com. No interest, targeting engaged shoppers and excluding purchasers. And finally, a lookalike of our video views at 75% viewed. No interest, so we're good. And since we're only testing one variable per entire campaign, we're not gonna edit any of these ads because we want this ad to be the same for each one. Oh, so one note here, when we do copy, sometimes it leaves off the Instagram. So let's come in and just make sure that's toggled for each one. So there we go, we have each ad with our page and our Instagram account using this existing post that we've built social proof around. And then we are testing 10 different ad sets to see which audience responds best, which one takes the initiative to interact with our post. So just close this and then this pop-up comes up, publish draft items. As you can see, we're publishing all of these different ad sets and ads. So it looks like we missed one, so click this, publish. There we go, there's all 20. So 20 ads, 20 ad sets that are publishing right now. So we can go through. Okay, they're all in review, looks good. So now this CBO 
this campaign budget optimization, which is toggled on with a daily budget of $10, is going to split over these 10 ad sets and use Facebook's algorithm to identify which audience is responding best to your ad. So as you can see, only 24 hours later, we have a clear audience leader already. Online advertising, influencer marketing, and engaged shoppers. Those are the ones getting link clicks. I'm going to give this a few more days, but I could, at this point, turn off seven of these ad sets because they haven't even gotten a link click. They haven't achieved the objective I selected for this ad. So as you can see, CBO, Campaign Budget Optimization, is showing our ad to the best audience, the audience most likely to click. So take advantage of CBO and duplicating ad sets to test multiple audiences at once.